Any sign of Mandarin or Valina yet, Gibson? Negative. Scans only reveal local fauna. I'll calibrate for more humanoid life signs. So, what do you think they have planned for Skeleton King's skull? I fear the skull holds a power that could devastate this planet. We must find it and destroy it forever. I'm picking up a human bio sign. It's coming from underground. That's gotta be Valina. Get ready for action, team. <laughs> Picking up anything on that gizmo of yours, Gibson? I'm receiving very faint human life readings from... Over there. Is he alive? That's impossible, Otto. Just look at him. No. I sense he's in some kind of deep hibernation. Perhaps for many years. Wait a minute. Why is he wearing our Hyperforce emblem? While exploring the outskirts of the city, I discovered an abandoned super robot. It was then my life was transformed by the mysterious power of Prime. The robot monkeys were awakened, and I, Shiro, made their leader. Our quest, save Shigazoom City from the evils of the Skeleton King. Super Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go! Fighting any evils in your Shagazoom's hope. Super Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go! Defeating any foe! Antari! Sparks! Give some! So, why is this guy wearing our emblem on his head? It's a mystery to all of us, Chiro. Interesting. Our friend seems to be in some kind of stasis. He's in hibernation! I think he was hit by this old-fashioned sleep cannon. Let's see. Uh, if I reverse the polarity, this just might... Hey! It's working! Use caution, team. I'm warning you. What is going on out of there? Huh? Where am I? What's going on here? I... I... I can't be. No. This has to be a trick. It's impossible. I, I'm old. <laughs> I'm old! <laughs> Will you quit coughing on me? Relax, old timer. Have a seat. Well, this can't be happening. I was young just a few minutes ago. Not minutes. Years. You were in a stasis like sleep for a very long time, my friend. Do you remember who you are? They call me Captain Sugarzoom, defender of the city. Captain Sugar who? Sugar what? Oh, I remember you. You monkeys look a little different, but you belong to the alchemist, don't you? You knew the alchemist? Of course. He's my best friend. In fact, this all started when one of his inventions was stolen by my old arch enemy, Dr. Malicious. Dr. Malicious. Relinquish the Magna Ball Blazer and I'll go easy on your cybernetic skull. Of course I'll relinquish it, Captain. On power level 10! And now, my dear nemesis, I bid you... Plasma disc again? Why don't you 
just throw milk curtains, cyborg. Make your decision, Captain. You only have time to stop one of us. Thanks. I have a friend who is missing one of these. After I took Malicious to jail, I paid a visit to our old friend, the Alchemist. Why, thank you, Gibson. <laughs> You certainly are a smart little simian, to say the least. The sparks! Nova, no fighting. The easy, Mandarin. I want everyone to get along as a team. No picking on each other. Speaking of teams, how's my new silver monkey coming along? <laughs> I need all the help I can get defending this city. Captain Sugarzoom, you've retrieved the Magna Ball Blazer. Have I ever let you down? Unfortunately, your silver monkey is far from ready, my old friend. But now we have more urgent matters to attend to. <laughs> This portal peers into the soul of evil itself, the Netherworld. What are those nightmarish things? They are what the Veron mystics call the Dark Ones. They were imprisoned, but now their evil grows out of control. This portal allows us to monitor their forces directly. I don't know. It seems too dangerous. How do you know they can't break through? Not to worry, Captain. We're safe. That grid is utterly impenetrable. Well, I hate to spoil all the fun, but the city needs me. Good luck to you, my friend. Now come away from the gate, Mandarin. I'm going to shut it down now. Next time I saw the alchemist, he was no longer the same man. So that's how it happened. That's how the alchemist turned into Quiet Sparks. Keep going, Captain Sugazoom. I want to hear the rest of it. Very well. Later that night, I was off duty, completely unaware of the danger. <laughs> Defacing public property is a serious offense in this town. I'll bet you're another creation of my old enemy, Master Mongreloid. My turn. Mega Lightning Worm! Huh. 
tougher than I expected. Over here. Blazing bioelectric plan! <laughs> That's right, you cat faced ape. Keep following. the alchemist I'm here my friend what happened to you you were right the portal isn't safe one of the dark ones broke free that thing came from your machine it nearly destroyed half the city the dark ones they did something to me they reached through the gate changed me I don't have much time left Rest for a minute. You look like you're about to fall over. Don't you see? This could mean the end of all creation. There's no time to rest. Look, the city needs me. I have to go, but I promise I'll be right back. I certainly hope so, Captain. At least to say goodbye. Let's start round two with a quick nap, shall we? I knew it couldn't be that easy. Oh, 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 no! Go to sleep! That's right. Come on out. I got something for you. Huh. Maybe it's finally... <laughs> That's the last thing I remember. I assume the dimensional portal disappeared because the world lives on. <laughs> so you never saw the alchemist again? That's right. How is he after all these years? My friend, the alchemist is no longer as you knew him. The Dark Ones have corrupted his soul completely. It's not possible. That's why he built us. To protect the universe from his own evil. I can't believe it. I just... It's my fault. It's all my fault. I should have never left him. You can't blame yourself, Captain. You had to save the city. What was that? It felt like a... Oh, no. Captain, you said the demon beast was buried with you, correct? Uh, yes, but I... Otto? What range does the anti-sleep setting have? Uh, a one-mile radius? Then that would mean... It's waking up the demon beast! Shut it down, Otto! Now! 
Phew! <laughs> that was a close call. <laughs> Something is. Captain Shizuzum, are you all right? Not as invulnerable as I used to be. <laughs> Hurry, team. Let's activate the super robot. Whoa. Um, uh, Hyperforce, go! Let's send this demon beast back to sleep. Permanent! How does this stupid thing work again? <laughs> This was gonna be a real fight. Uh oh, its horns are lighting up. Deploying countermeasures. Power's fading quickly. You can't hold out. I think I need dentures. <laughs> oh, and divers. Failed the alchemist. I will fail the hyperforce. Oh, get to sugar soon. Come on, team. We gotta help. Servo motors are down. We can't move. Ah! Oh, look at that. What is it? It's happening again. Again. The end of the world. Low on vitamin C or something. Great. He might as well try tickling that thing. <laughs> One last chance. Save the city again, Captain Shigazoom. Just like back in the old days. Well, it wasn't just me, Jiro. It was all of us. Some teamwork, eh? I gotta admit, I'm impressed. So what are you gonna do now, Captain? Oh, I'm going back to the Alchemist Laboratory. See, I'm gonna find out what happened to him in his final days. My friend, you may not like what you find. No, nah, no, Gibson. But it's something I have to do for my own peace of mind. Good luck to you, Captain Shugazoom. Until we meet again!